96. Mark in the second turn. Ten to lead 25. The yards. left front of the car so in the inside, the block, the right front of the block. He's the scene of his own tower. It looked like he the other one blew up. He had to hit it. Always. who's always fast. Yeah, he had help. He's running the motor track. He's got enough of that. 
each other at all. I'll bet if you took the years of racing experience of those two drivers, 26 and two, you would have come up with 70 years experience. And there's no matter to it. He didn't hit that wrecker who was going frontwards on the race. We got water. Look like we got water on the track. Corbett Mosley, I don't think he's doing anything except going to the pits. At least I hope not. Yeah, the wrecker gets out of his way. He's going to head to the pit. Hey, Bubba made it through that. So Cody Brusso was one of the first involved down here. Oh man, I didn't see him leave the seat, but they said Jake Finch's bumper came loose. He just, Jake Finch just came to the pits, I believe, off of the fourth turn. Rocky Rogers' car out of Jasper. Jeff Letson out of Huntsville, Northern Alabama. Championship modified driver didn't go so well tonight in this outlaw. What you're telling our official record service at Five Flag Speedway, we've given them a workout tonight. That's why we like to salute them at the Parade of Eight. They're so important here and they don't get enough credit, but we couldn't do what we do without We had 24 Stoney. cars, but you're looking at it over now. Twenty-four. They're racing like it's the last ten laps. They started out that way and then stopped. Of this, I'll try to relay it to you that Sutton, fifty-four, missed a shift. Russo, the seven, slowed up to not hit him and turn down in front of Jake Finch. So if you've got speed 51 on your phone, you comes back out on the tail end of the field with Bubba Winslow. And once again, the gaps here are Finch ahead of Winslow by 25. 
Vince and that is Sutton by 35. Sutton's the one that's been missing on the right hand side of his car for the last five laps. He's going to miss the front end. The 51. Watch Jake Vince's car get worked on. Now to clear that tip road, here comes a car down the outside of it. Winslow, which is second in point. I think he's got to finish like nine ahead of him. You talk about a heartbreak. Man, for Jake Fitz, what a tough, tough heartbreaker tonight. Alright, light route. You can go race boy. The girl, well, none of the girls back out there. 10, 11 cars up on the field. 24 laps.
Well, during the race, we were disappointed for Jake Finch, but he finishes 13th, and guess what? He's going to be the champion. We'll interview him after we do first, second, and third here. As disappointed as we were for Jake Finch, it, er, it ended up turning out okay. Here's the man of the hour, though, today. Honor Chris. <laughs> His first outlaw ride in a brand new outlaw car number 22 from Grand Bay, Connor O'Cressick. Come on out here, Connor. I'm telling you what. This is about as impressive as it gets. New car for you, a new class, fast qualifier, and you win the thing. I can't thank George enough for giving me this opportunity. I mean, I, I didn't sit in this car until yesterday. I think I made 12 laps of practice and we went out and qualified. And, um, I mean, Augie Grill, I mean, I mean, what an amazing job, man. You, I mean, this, this is a freaking fast race car. I think we have some work to do before the Derby to get this thing ready for the Derby, but I mean, I think we'll be fast. It's a bullet. Let me ask you this. You raced with second place quite a bit in the Legends car at Sunny South Raceway. Was that fun going back and forth with Watson? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean, Timothy is, uh, I mean, he's got to be one of the best drivers on the racetrack. At any point in time, he could go run a super. He'd run, he'd run right here where he did tonight. I mean, it, I mean, it's been incredible. You know what else? We're going to see you twice next weekend. Good luck next weekend. Congratulations on the outlaw win tonight to Connor O'Cressy from Grand Bay. Big congratulations for this driver, Timothy Watson from Connor O'Cressig. They used to race the legends together at Sunny South. This time, Connor O'Cressig got the better of you, but I remember announcing several times you got the better of him in the legend cars. Yeah, uh, I mean, he was one of the first people who kind of helped me learn the legend car. And, uh, well, he was one of the first people that I always raced around. You got to be, I knew you won feature win this year. You got to be happy. You just came into this outlaw division and really took to it like it was a legend card. Hey, John Kevin's yeah, I mean, here. I, I really wanted the, the second win to be the John first. John Kevin's here. I want the buddy. Two, two wins, but uh, I'm happy for Connor. That was a really great race. And you got yourself a real strong second spot. Timothy Watson, he's always a threat in this outlaw division. Well, Five times you're the champion in South Alabama. Every time you come to Pensacola, you're fast. Cameron Henderson, with this field of cars, third's pretty darn special. Yeah, um, I'm never really happy with third, but tonight I'm happy with third. There was a lot of good cars that got torn up. Um, there was just a lot of good cars. It was probably the toughest field of the year as far as the cars and the quality of cars. Good way for you to get ready for the Snowball Derby, right? Oh, yeah. um, I just got to thank Mr. Jerry, Mr. Randy, uh, for giving me this hot ride to drive. Uh, James always, James always keeps a little proud for me. This guy is always fast. If you ever go to South Alabama Speedway, you'll likely see him in victory lane. Cameron Henderson, third tonight. Ralph McQuig and Mike Atwood from Faith Chapel have come to uh, go into the pits because that car can't be moved. So we're going to walk in here and talk to Jake Finch after his championship, his surprise championship in the Faith Chapel Outlaw Division. So here he is talking to another champion, Fast Eddie Mercer, and they're talking about racing. But Jake Finch, we thought it was all over, but 13th place here still gets you the championship your first one congratulations yeah it was a fun night i guess you know um did what we could you know qualifying really helped us out and eddie and my dad and john and the crew and it's a fun deal i guess and uh here we are you know what this is what i wanted to ask you turn around so these people can see you all week long maybe since the last race you had the slimmest margin of any driver here in any one of these divisions were you nervous were you nervous about keeping this thing? No, not at all. Uh, not at all. 
You know what? I'm hearing BS back here. <laughs> the first BS came from Eddie Mercer, and he's never told a lie in his life. Oh no. No, I'm telling you, I wasn't nervous at all. Okay, I'm checking with I'm checking with your dad, and I'm checking with Eddie Mercer. You know what? Congratulations, Jake Finch. Nervous or not, he is the Faith Chapel Outlaw Champion. Jake Finch. Jake Finch, Eddie Mercer, we need you here for some pictures. Come on, Jake, you're no lying picture taken. <laughs> He will be the outlaw champion for 2021. But I'll tell you what, if there's champion of having a good time at the races, it's got to be that bunch. Headed up by his dad, James Finch. Got some pure stocks to do next. 